he's come out his race absolutely fine. Obviously, um, it was brilliant to win the Sussex Stakes. I um, mean, he's um, he's a very good horse and showed how good a horse he was um, last Wednesday. So I mean, it's a, it was a thrill, and it was a you know it's a lovely place to win a Group One, and um, I'm so pleased for Shay Handan and the whole team, obviously. Every year he's been training, he's won a group race, so it was a, it's been a sort of um, gradual um, progression. Um, but he's uh, he's trained very well this spring, and uh, going to Royal Ascot, unfortunately, that race didn't work out. But you know he was in very good form then, and then of course he you know he won the um, Summer Mile by three plus lengths, and um, you know he went into the Sussex Stakes, as I say, in very good order. So it was very exciting and um, you know, lovely. It's been a bit different without having the, uh, the, the crowds there, and for some of the horses, um, it, it probably suits them better, you know, from that perspective. But I think Mahalfa's case, he's um, he's a bit of a show off anyway. He loved the people being there, but um, it's very important to win at the um, win these Group Ones uh, when you can, because obviously we're looking forward to um, buying some young know, tassels, and uh, you know, it's the future, isn't it? And obviously, it's showcasing stands in the village, so. Um, it's, a, it's a huge thing for for um, Whitsbury Stud. Um, you know, he's now the highest rated um, showcasing um, there's been so far. So it's very exciting. It's funny enough, uh, after the, the race, we ca I came back here and um, as the horse was unloaded, I, I arrived back and I think there were about 30 people um, looking forward to seeing him and a few glasses of champagne. Obviously, he's in the Pre-Jacques Lamarois on the 16th, which might just um, come a little bit too quick. We might decide not to do that. But I mean, the target race is the really the race on Champions Day with QE2. Um, who knows? He wins that well. Three weeks later, it's the Breeders' Cup.